Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking this video. So glad you're here. Um, so today um, is going to be not a typical video, rest assured. Um, I'm not going to turn this channel into a makeup tutorial channel. Um, I just thought it would be fun to, uh, you know, show you how I do my makeup. Um, you know, I have a disability, so it looks a little bit different than most. And sorry, this video is pretty long. Uh, you know, it does take me a bit more time to do my makeup and there are long makeup tutorials also and I talk quite a bit. So there's that too. <laughs> um, so I'll try to make this intro quick. Um, this is the makeup look that I will be doing uh, in the video. It's kind of a pink, um, not kind of in your face, but more of a subtle uh, pink look. And uh, it's one of my favorites. I like it a lot. Um, Devin will not be in the video. He is a at work. Um, plus, this doesn't really have anything to do with him anyway. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Although, he will be mentioned in the video, as you will see. Um, so, um, you will also notice that um, I do mention Sephora products. Um, I don't like spending a lot of money on makeup, but it is a hobby, so um, I do look for good deals on Sephora, um, which uh, you will find out as well. <laughs> um, so I just can't justify spending like 50 or 100 or $150 on eyeshadow and stuff like that. I just, I can't do it. So. I don't. If someone rich came up to me and said, here's some uh, Sephora makeup that costs $90,000, I'd be like, okay, you could have spent that on something else, but I guess thank you. Um, or if Sephora wanted to send me free stuff, I'd be fine with that. So um, yeah, I think that's all I had to say. Uh, you'll notice the lighting changed because I filmed the rest of the video a little bit earlier in the day. And I apologize for not looking at the camera a lot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, um, please enjoy the video. Thank you. Alright, so I'm going to begin um, by showing you what products I'm going to be using today. Um, where to begin? Let's see. First, um, these are just some basic brushes. <laughs> um, they're from Walmart. Okay, um, enough about brushes. Um, uh, got this lip stuff. I don't know why I went from eyes to lip, but, <laughs> okay, well first for lip, um, Carmex, obviously. Um, this is from Sephora. I think it's originally $15. I got it for $5. Um, in the shade Frosty Peach. It's like a pink metallic kind of color. Doesn't really look like that, but you know, in the bottle anyway. But it is once it's on the lips. Um, okay, back to eyes. Um, Walmart mascara, which I should probably replace because this is kind of old. <laughs> um, but I don't use mascara that much, so I'm just gonna be using it for the sake of this video. To show you guys what I do, or sometimes do, I guess. Um, Sephora eyeliner, which I this is my favorite eyeliner. It's a liquid, um, yeah, it's liquid, <laughs> but I like it because I'm able to open it, so um, yeah. Uh, I think it's originally $12, which isn't that bad, but I think I got it for about $8, which that's a little on the upper end that I like to spend for eyeliner, um, but I thought it was worth it because it's good and I'll use it. Um, for the main event, it, uh, this is like a mini Sephora palette. Um, if I open it, it'll be hard for me to show it. There, got it open. <laughs> um, 
Actually, it's not too big. Let me see if I can show it here. So, um, yeah. And the other thing, the most expensive thing actually, but it's the only face thing, is the Glow Kit. Um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. I also got that on sale, but I'll admit it was a bit pricey. I think I paid around $20 for it. I got it for my wedding. So, um, yeah, and I'm still using it. So, I don't feel too bad about it because um, I wanted a nice highlight and bronze set. Um, sorry, I was just backing up. You might have saw my jammy pants, but um, to get these. Uh, I won't be showing you doing my eyebrows because I already did them <laughs> yesterday. Um, but this is what I use. It's like a scissor style tweezer. And as you can see, it's very easy um, to use. My friend uh, who has my same diagnosis told me about those. So yeah. All right. So that took a few minutes just to show you all the products so now let's actually start i guess um okay so a lot of girls use primer like on the eyelids most i would say 99 percent of the time i do not do that <laughs> so i just kind of do makeup the way i want to some things i do some things i don't um and primer is one of those things that I just don't really care to do. All right, so I'm gonna go into the shade Orchid. It's kind of like a somewhat dark pink, but not like overly dark. That was off the camera, but I just tapped the excess off. And then let's do this. So I primarily start putting it into my crease, or not my crease. I start putting it into the outer corner and then once most of the product is off, I blend it into the crease. Okay, now I'm going um, to darken up the crease. Uh, why do I keep saying crease? <laughs> to darken up the outer corner, I'm going in with the shade Florist, which is a bit of a darker pink. But again, not like overly dark. It's not black for sure. It's just darker. And I'm just doing the corner going a tiny bit into the crease, but I'm just trying to darken up the corner. All right, and now um, I'm actually gonna use my finger. Um, I find, I dropped it. <laughs> hmm, will I be able to pick it up without Devin? Let's see. One eternity later. All right, I'm back. That took me uh, literally 15 minutes. I'm not even exaggerating, it was 3.20 p.m. Uh, or a little before 3.20 and now it's 3.33. <laughs> this is why um, the state we live in should just allow Devin to uh, be my full-time paid caregiver because then uh, he wouldn't have to have a job outside the home. So this is what happens. This is kind of a side rant thing. A whole video could be made about this, but quickly. This is what happens when uh, man sets these arbitrary rules. Because in some states, spouses are allowed to be a full-time personal caregiver. And in other states, they're not allowed at all. What kind of sense does that make? So um, I picked it up using this handy dandy back scratcher. And I don't even have a Jayco robotic arm which would have made picking that up a lot easier. 
Um, because insurance doesn't cover it. <laughs> or they won't approve it or whatever, so. Yeah. If I ever get one, I'll let you know. <laughs> but anyway, um, oh, and things like that, that is not uncommon. That happens pretty frequently, so. I'm glad, uh, it was shown, so. Well, I guess they didn't film me actually doing it, but just take my word for me, okay? Um, just think about it. If you're trying to pick an object up like this, with this, that would take anyone a long time, but especially me. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Anyway, let's get back to the makeup, shall we? Um, okay. And yeah, someday I'll probably make a whole video on that. All right, so now I'm going in with the shade Petal, which is like a shimmery pink shade. Um, so, and I'm doing that with my thumb. There it is on my thumb. Can't really, doesn't really focus very well because I can't get my thumb very close, but you know. And by the way, that impromptu uh, rant about the spouse caregiver thing, that was not planned. I just felt in the moment, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna put it in the video, okay? So, yeah. Man-made rules uh, are arbitrary and just don't make a lot of sense. All right, so now I'm going in with the shade Dew. Um, and that is like, well, I guess you can't really tell what it is on there. Um, but it's like a pretty, um, almost like white shimmer. And I'm using it to highlight under the brow bone with this little bit bigger of a brush. And I don't tap the excess off for the highlight. So like a highlight. So, um, yeah. I'm also highlighting the inner corner of the eye. All right, now that eye is done. Um, I'll probably speed through doing this eye just so the video isn't 19 hours long. So now both eyes have shadow on them. Um, I'm going to use the blending brush just to kind of blend it out a little bit. Okay, so I'm happy with the shadow. It really does, like, whoops, sorry for that sound. Um, it does look a bit different on camera versus in person. Um, I'll try to get some close-up, you know, when I'm completely done, but wow, it's so pretty. Something I forgot to mention, um, the highlight, especially on camera, it appears a little more pink. It's not like, it's not like a whitish, I mean, it's almost like a shimmery light pink, but I still think it's really pretty as a highlight. All right, so I'm going to do uh, eyeliner now, and I am going to speed through this just because uh, my <laughs> eyeliner typically takes me like five to 10 minutes. I don't think that's too unusual. I think most girls, it takes them a bit of time. Oh, and this, oh my goodness, I have to like, Push it against my cheek to get it out. I do that with a lot of things. So. All right, so enjoy the speediness.
All right, so um, let me move this mirror out of the frame. Um, I always like one side of my eyeliner a little bit better than the other. Tonight, they look a bit different, but I can't tell which one I prefer. <laughs> so uh, yeah, let me close this. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> well, I got it in. No, I got just it. So. Um. All right. So now I typically, I'm going to be honest, I typically anymore leave my eyes like this. I usually don't even put mascara on. So, and nobody seems to notice, uh, or they do and just don't say anything. But but for the sake of this video, I'm going to show you how I apply, or you can watch my disabled self apply my mascara. Pop, pop goes the weasel. And probably some people might cringe when I do this, but um, I always kind of scrape off the excess, you know, onto the cap because with mascara, less is more and typically I have so less that I don't have any <laughs> but um yeah okay I'm gonna put the mirror back here so I can have a close-up view roll the speed pause speed <laughs> okay um I'm not sure if you guys could tell what I just did but um, I kind of, uh, when you, I went through the lashes, 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 if I can speak, I kind of shimmied through a little bit. Um, that just kind of helps, you know, um, make it less clumpy. Um, and then I also did the top, so like the top part of the eyelashes. And then after that, I went through the bottom, like underneath, again, just to make sure you're that any clumps happen were taken care of. Um, there still might be a little bit of clumps because this mascara is a bit old. And then last, I did the bottom lash line very lightly. Okay, speed up again for the other eye. All right, now you tell me, do my eyelashes look, or my eyes in general, <laughs> look significantly different with the mascara? No. <laughs> so that is why I typically do not wear mascara anymore. I used to wear it all the time, but not anymore. All right, I'm back. I have the brush. Um, you can't really see any name or anything on it, but this is like, it's made specifically for doing the face, um, like for highlighting and whatnot. Um, I got it on the e.l.f. website. In my opinion, like brushes are brushes. <laughs> like I get splurging a little on like the makeup products, but brushes, uh, not so much. Um, so I spent like $4 on this brush. Ugh. Can I open it? <laughs> I know I can't have done it before, but hold on. Got it. Okay. I think I'm going to highlight first. And I typically go in with the shade Summer. And again, I don't tap off the excess because I like highlight. So. I'm going to do it right here, kind of make a C shape in this area. And um, I typically also do the shade. Um, I kind of alternate between Terminal Lane, I think that's how it's pronounced. Actually, I don't think that's how it's pronounced. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, <laughs> and Moonstone. So I think I'm gonna do uh, tourmaline something right now. Alright, made 
maybe if I turn a little, actually, oh well, yeah, you can kind of see the color screen. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna do the other side. Let's speed through a little bit here. Now the bronzer, what do I do with the, oh, I remember what I do with the bronzer. Okay, don't mind me. And this is, the shade is so profound, the name. It's called Bronzed. I know, right? Crazy. Bronzer is called Bronzed. And I'm sad because um, my nail one time kind of went into the, um, you know, the thing, so there's a little bit of a dent on the edge. So sad. Okay, that one I think I should have tapped <laughs> off the excess. Let's try to um, fix that. I'm not trying to change my skin color here. All right, sorry, I got a phone call, so the recording kind of cut out there, but um, I was just kind of getting rid of some of the excess bronzer there. It looks so much better. <laughs> bronzer, you just need a little bit. I forgot about that. Okay, um, this time I'm tapping off the excess, and I'm going uh, kind of below the cheekbone here on the side just want a really subtle and I don't think I explained this before but I typically don't do a lot of like concealer or stuff like that first of all it's kind of hard for me to do I can never seem to get it right sometimes I'll try to cover up these red spots I get right here but I don't know I I just don't really enjoy doing face stuff either, other than the highlight stuff. So I typically just stay with my highlight and bronzer, and that's that's good enough for me. Okay, um, let's see. Last but not least, the lips. Typically the quickest, um, quickest thing here. And the Carmex, I don't even put my finger in it, I'll just literally do this. And boom. Works perfectly fine. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to be looking at the mirror a little bit when I do this. And again, this is the shade Frosty Peach. Alright, so that is the completed look. This is from a distance. I'll get some closer up shots here in a moment. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this disabled uh, Christian gal do her makeup and also uh, rant a little bit <laughs> about an irritating thing. Um, so yeah, um, I don't really know how to end the video. How do you end a makeup tutorial video? Hmm. Um, thanks for watching and uh, yeah. I was saying subscribe if you enjoy my vibe. But I was wondering if that seems a little bit new agey. Um, I don't know. So, yeah, I, I don't know. Okay. So, uh, subscribed if you enjoyed the content. That doesn't rhyme, but yeah, thanks. Bye. See you soon.